Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. As always, all today's stories are time marked down below. Let's hop into our first one, all about the team Torqued. I'm sure many of you guys are aware of that former team, Swag, AZK, Steel, Pollo, and of course, Kusta rounding out that five-man roster. And apparently, ever since the last few days, this roster is slowly falling apart. Now, we did have Swag and AZK leave and apparently making their own team. They currently played last night as X Torqued, that roster on screen for all of you, including people like Marky, Hunter, and James. And apparently, they, of, of course, still a strong roster out there, but People still questioning what's going to happen with the remaining three people, that being Kusta, Poyo, and of course Steel on top of that. Will they be signed by some other team out there? It does seem very likely coming soon, and this team seemingly falling apart, but maybe for the better, as Torqued is going to be going, apparently, the trio remaining there will be going to Ghost Gaming. Now, if you guys are not aware of Ghost Gaming, they still somehow held on to the Pro League spot last season, and that does mean they could, of course, take Steel into Pro League alongside his teammates and refinalize that roster. Now, no one really sure as to how Ghost Gaming kept that Pro League spot. It was just just barely, but still, you can imagine a team like Steel, Poyo, Kusta doing quite well with that team if they have enough time to prepare for that and next season coming, I guess sometime soon, but still enough time to prepare. It'd be interesting to see where they fall in terms of standings and will they actually sign these guys. You have to remember as well, they were Ghost Gaming, a team not really in contention for any major tournaments out there, any major events that Steel could not go to, especially that being mainly majors right now, one of the few events that have not, you know, not unbanned these guys yet. It's not really a big threat for these guys to make the major, and if they do, they can simply probably just deny that request. It's more importantly for them to focus on other tournaments and if they can go to things like Pro League and do maybe decently well there, maybe other tournaments as well. Because remember, we do have Torch qualifying for things like ESL Belo Horizonte. So the money is definitely there for the team in the future in terms of, I guess you could say, feasible income with many tournaments out there for these guys. The question is though, will Ghost Gaming take that, I guess, alleged risk? And it does seem very likely right now. AZK and Swag have left that roster. They're going to be making their own Mountain Dew League team, finalizing that roster with people like Marky, Hunter and James for now, and they can still do quite well in Mountain Dew League. I'm, I'm very well assured of that. The remaining Torch roster apparently being scouted by teams like Ghost Gaming, and again, it would make a lot of sense. Ghost Gaming has that Pro League spot to fill, a team they definitely could make some changes to, and then we do have ESL Belo Horizonte, two and a half or almost two weeks away. Uh, that's a $200,000 prize pool, which Torch is probably not expected to do very well at, but still, then again, it's exposure for the team like Ghost Gaming, so we'll see what happens there sometime soon. Now, also another news out there, we FNS have a little bit of clarification as he has now been benched officially by Cloud9 as they search for a brand new IGL. Still in the mix out there is people like Apex, MBK, could be coming over to North America to join Cloud9 in their ranks. For the time being, Tark will take over the Cloud9 IGL. It seems more and more so that Cloud9 had too many tournaments, too many qualifiers, too many leagues to participate in, and when FNS actually joined that team, apparently according to his post, they had maybe a total of 5 to 10 days of practice time over the course of 2 months. They were just so busy, and you can imagine if you don't have that much practice time, you're just doing qualifiers, tournaments, your only practice is actually competing, it can be a bit rough and apparently their cohesion of play styles just did not mix well. So FNS has now officially been benched. How much was he bought for? We may never know. Well, actually, we probably ne never will know, but for the time being, Tark will be the IGL of that roster as they scout out potential new IGLs and it most likely will not be a North American one. And also in very big news for any of you guys who actually are Kukli fans, now I do believe uh, there are some Kukli fans out there, people that actually, you know, don't mind me saying it and pronouncing it like Kukli. Just to clarify, I, I actually tweeted at this guy a long time ago. He says there are multiple ways to say it, but also in big news, I was waiting a couple days to see exactly what would happen after Kukli posted this. Apparently, he's been working on a big project with a former CS pro known as Hearts, and no one really knew what was going to be. What was going to be a sponsorship announcement, some kind of other project, maybe a new team. It does seem very likely now Kukli will be making a brand new, allegedly maybe a French team out there, some kind of mixed team as well. Who really knows at this point in time? It should be a brand new CSGO roster for him to compete with, because apparently as of this morning, it did happen. Vex Gaming parted ways with their entire roster. Now, I was going to question, I'm not really sure how Vex Gaming stayed in the game for so long. kukli has been there for quite some time, and if you guys do remember when Kukli first joined that roster, it was pretty shocking. After ESL and Valve made their unbans of, of VAC ban players, he returned to competitive play with Vex Gaming. They actually signed him to that roster without telling any of their players, and that same day, two of their players and their coach also left that roster. Who knows where they are now, but they didn't want to play with an alleged cheater. Well, of course, he was not alleged. He was an actual cheater. They didn't want to play with him, and of course, he stayed on that roster. They filled new spots with him, and they have not seen much success ever since them. So today, this morning, actually, they released their CSGO roster. So it does seem very likely Kukli has a surprise in store for us, and he's coming back to CSGO sometime very soon with a brand new team. Who's going to be on it? We have no clue right now. And regarding the Simple and Taco 1v1, if you guys were following that conversation, apparently Simple and Taco wanted a 1v1 after Taco has been taking down allegedly everyone. We had Liquid's Nitro taking down 2-0 as well as the Don Hossi himself, and then Simple signed up to volunteer to actually be his next challenger, and apparently it's been pushed back enough. If you guys are aware, this week,
week we do have Star Series, I believe it's season five starting. So it's gonna be a great tournament all week long and it will be in Kiev as well. And apparently that's where the location will be. They're gonna have this 1v1 for $1,000 on land. So expect that maybe today, later today we'll have details about that or sometime this week. When these guys do get free time, it will be simple versus Taco, 1v1 for $1,000. Who's gonna win? Leave a comment down below what you guys think. Now also very lastly, some stories out there. Gamut Gaming changes officially, officially have been finalized. It will be Mir from Vegas Squadron joining that roster on trial. I think it's amazing how Gamut Gaming always does this kind of tactic. They always sign usually a three month trial, which does you know seem in the past as it's worked for them. So Seize is now officially out. Mir is now officially into that new Gamut Gaming roster, and we'll see how that works out for them in the next three months and if they actually stick it out with him for the major. Now also very last in today's episode of Cisco News, some big news coming soon. I think tomorrow or sometime soon another episode. I'll have updates for all of you on VGO, that being uh, kind of a cryptocurrency or blockchain technology for gambling, uh, gambling skins out there trying to fix the seven day trade ban. I'll probably update you guys next episode about uh, you know what sites are using this, how big it's going to be in the future. Seemingly doing very, very well for that project right now. They have actually ran a $50,000, I guess you could say giveaway or $50,000 uh, kind, of, kind of competition. So for all of you skin designers out there who want to make CSGO skins, now they actually cannot use CSGO skins. I, I kind of ex tried to explain VGO in the past for all of you. They'll be using uh, sites like OP Skins. Pretty much you can actually own a pixelated skin that will not be a CSGO skin. You can't equip it in game, but of course they can't use those CSGO skin profile pictures or pictures due to the copyright issues. So they want all of you guys, the community, to design what these skins are going to look like. You send in your designs and you have a chance to actually earn commission on how many people buy your skin. So it's going to pretty much just be like CSGO but on a different platform altogether. So when people buy your skin and, and gamble with it on a website, they want to use it to gamble, you get a commission of those sales. So it's pretty, pretty cool, really, really cool. This is not sponsored whatsoever, but for all of you guys who want to design skins and make a quick buck, if you guys are good at that kind of thing, I will link that down below because I am very curious about the future of this. Now, I'm not a huge gambler anymore, but still, if this is going to solve the seven day trade ban and maybe bring back gamblers, the, the, the only problem is it's not going to bring back anyone for CSGO because it's no longer CSGO related. But either way, it's very cool technology, so I'll link that down below for all of you guys who can create some cool skins. As always, hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you all very much for the nice comments this past week. I mean, the channel's been doing amazing. It's been so fun making videos. Some updates in my real life situation. I believe today is the 28th, the Monday. I keep on losing track during the summer, but I want you guys to know next week, I'll be going on vacation. Expect some very, very cool videos coming out. That's when I'm gonna announce to you guys some, some big future plans. I'm gonna try to pre-record some videos, you know, some trade-up videos, some fun, you know, maybe some vlogs or whatever it's gonna be interviews as well on the channel so expect that next week guys I actually leave June 3rd uh, for my family my last family vacation for quite some time hint hint and then I think uh, expect a pretty big uh, update video sometime after that so June 3rd I'll go on vacation and I'll have some pre-recorded videos for all of you of those pre-recorded videos uh, there are gonna be some cool announcements so thank you all for watching I will see you all next time I'm like you and uh, goodbye guys